there you are. Well, I'm gonna be, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna be uh, taking this Feiyu uh, pocket gimbal camera uh, for a spin today. Uh, trying it out and see how it does. Uh, so it's called Feiyu, Feiyu, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's a Feiyu pocket. That's the name of the manufacturer and the model is Pocket uh, because it's pocket size, it's very palm size and um, it's very tiny, about five, five inches high and about a half and three quarter around, uh, about three quarter and about an inch around, so you know, give and take. But anyway, trying this one out, going for my run, just walking uh, a little bit. It's gonna be tough for me because I haven't run for weeks so uh, and my running course my running venue is a little bit there's some grade to it so as you can see there's like a initial steep grade and as I turn right to start my run uh, it's undulating it goes down and up so uh, my old legs will be uh, sore after this I'm sure after not having run for weeks I haven't done weights either, you know. Uh, so, um, and what else? Yeah, it's all on high settings, high quality settings, and well, super high quality settings, highest bit rate, and um, it's uh, shooting at 4K resolution and at 60 frames per second. So pretty much maxed out. Uh, and we'll see how stable it is. All right, let go. Let me go for my run now. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. So the sun is kind of behind me now. It's what is it? About, I don't know what time. Late in the afternoon. Uh, at least four o'clock maybe. My old, my old legs are burning, man. That's that's good, though, right? That's why we do this. No pain, no gain. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a pan around, see how stable it is. See some of the properties.
Okay. I think this is a good test or this is going to be a good test because I'm coming in shade in shade and out of the shade directly in the sun right now the sun is I'm backlighted so that would be interesting yeah so you can see the shadows and the pavement it's uh, in and out between shade and direct sun uh, I got a, another climb again Woo! burn 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 baby <laughs> All right. Extending my arms right now, not super extending it, I'm just uh, extending out there instead of just casually like on an angle. Like, this hand and I'm running like this trying to I have to reciprocate it with this hand because I would lose my balance if I don't <sighs> so extending it yeah how wide can I cover again not super extended just putting it out there it's pretty wide Uh, yeah, finally went to the top of the hill and I'm going to a flat now. Give me a little bit of a relief. <laughs> so, right now, the sun, I'm just like fully blasted by the sun here. I'm gonna find around and cover the sun to see the variation of how. It exposes for the dark areas against that uh, sun. Bit of traffic waiting for the light. Joe Green. Okay, I'm just gonna go for 
walk and talk, a little break around the corner. Huffing and puffing. Well, I expected that. And, uh, and the okay. Nice breeze coming out my way on this road. Okay. back and for a couple of times to get me to settle. Well, I don't know if the monitor, the tiny screen, represents the proper exposure because most of the time when I don't have the sun directly in front of me or a light source, it's dark. So I don't know if closely reflects what is actually recorded at the parameters that I set so all right okay and well, that's me direct sign light right there so all right well looks good looks just right but I don't know like I said I don't know how it translates to the actual file uh, More or less, this uh, screen is not calibrated. That I can assure you. Or not properly cal calibrated anyway. For cheap stuff like this. I don't even think the high end ones, the name brand ones, are. <laughs> have calibrated mini screens. That's too tiny. And it's just a good guide to at least, uh, you know, see what you're actually shooting in the frame. And especially for selfies. And I, I do still have my uh, action camera with the appropriate gimbal attachments. And that's nice and compact, but sometimes they're pain in the neck. They're very, obtrusive and everything too obvious and everything this one here nobody even knows what i'm doing because i get a whole handle inside my palm and just a little gimbal head sticking out and you don't even see you know what that gimbal is so tiny and that camera is very uh uh, uh it's hard to think when <laughs> when all your blood is going through those muscles that need it they're doing that run <laughs> um, yeah I mean the uh, the lens is pretty tiny lens yeah same as what you would see on uh, a quads camera quads we, we call it drones but uh, in the uh, serious hobby enthusiasts we don't call it drones for the reason of the connotation Call it properly by its technical and uh, legal name, which is a quadcopter or short for quad, because there are four uh, propellers or rotors, and, uh, or UAV as the correct government would define it UAV or UAS. Look it up, you can think of uh, it's not unidentified something, definitely not. It's a uh, unmanned aircraft something. Oh, unmanned <laughs> aircraft V. I don't know what V. I don't know what S. They kind of vary UAS or UAV. Uh, look it up. Man. <laughs> I think. All right, I'm gonna go back and run head back to where I come from and now I'll be facing the sun so uh, we'll see uh, how it deals with that
right? Well, I'm facing here in the sun now, so that's a sample. But while I'm running, we'll see. Yeah. Just a little turn around. Yeah, that nice road going up hill. Uh, it's leading towards the Greek theater. And across, across it is the Roosevelt Golf Course. And farther up, on the winding road, going up the hill, is the famous Griffith Observatory. And there we go, I'm gonna run now. I'm gonna do some little thing here for variety. So I'm gonna do, uh, I guess, right now it's in the uh, default mode, which is the uh, follow mode. Uh, it follows everything except for the roll mode, side to side. Uh, it follows panning and it follows tilting. So, there we go, uh, tilt up. Tilt down. And to my right. And to my left. And okay. I'm gonna do a, a, a pseudo crane crane shot pseudo crane shot there's no crane so that's why it's called pseudo crane shot so we go from top and then the bottom and then on the way up I'm in the sun I'm gonna wait till I'm in the shade so it doesn't blow away some of the highlights and then crane up See if it's stable enough to do that maneuver. All right. So again, crane down and crane up. There you go. Oh, you know, I did it too close. Maybe I do it harder. Yeah, there we go. Crane down. And then crane up. There we go. I hope that was stable enough. Alright, okay. Go back to running. No more dilly dallying. turn this around because I think this is pretty with all the trees the shadows the highlights on oh hold on <laughs> just want to check something okay there you go it's recording just want to make sure I didn't press the uh, or accidentally turn it off or turn recording off like I did before so a little relief for me going down here going downhill and you can see at that corner starting from the corner it's going to go back up again i'll show it to you when i get there <laughs> okay
down to the left. Some uh, cute properties. And here's the uh, long, steep grade. Woohoo! Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just gonna go into my Zen mode so I forget about this <laughs> uphill lamp over here. <laughs> Aum. Aum. Oh. <laughs> hey, that dog over there just startled me. Uh, I think I partially said the uh, S word. And I got surprised, so maybe just partial. Not world, see, maybe uh, I can use that. Well, I can make that an excuse to practice my uh, sensor bleeps during editing. <laughs> Never had to do that, so man, for opportunity for me to do that if I did need to censor that one out or bleep it out <sighs> and speaking of editing not my not my cup of tea because <sighs> yeah uh, that doesn't mean I'm not capable. Uh, it's just too much work, man. Too much time. Too much decisions to make. I don't like making lots of decisions. Uh, okay. All right. A little relief here. A little downhill. Right. Yeah, it's hard for me to keep extending my arms, so I'm just doing exactly what this other arm is doing. You know, normal motion, normal reciprocating motion between the two arms while running. It feels weird if you don't go, you can do that.
little corner park again. And back to the star of the show, right? I'm the star of my own show. Why not, right? I had some social distancing there, but then the other runner went the same way and the grass. <laughs> so that made it a moot point. Alright. Okay. <sighs> so yeah, that's probably uh, that corner to that other corner. Possibly about three miles from 1.5 miles each way. So I went pretty much around 2.5 miles. Uh, maybe less than that because I, during the run, I was walking and talking. along the way and yeah, I would say at least two, two, 2.5 miles not bad for being a little bit out of shape since I haven't done this in weeks some up shots a nice breeze there now oh, hopefully the gimbal took care of that <laughs> All right. Not that hot out, not that hot out, but uh, I feel like sort of just came from sauna sweating. Uh, not as bad because I usually like to run when it's like 90, 95, and who needs a sauna after I do my. I used to normally run between three and four miles, so like I said, I'm only doing two, two and a half miles today. Take it easy. And then that's what I do I run first and then I do whatever weights I do uh, resistance training for that so that's my warm up now do some weights at home when I get home and uh, yeah and uh, see you later <laughs>